Hello, welcome to the last module of this course. In this module, we will be looking at strategies for empowering women leaders. Through the pursuit of these study objectives, students can enhance their comprehension of the most efficient approaches to foster gender equality and diversity within leadership roles. Additionally, they can play a pivotal role in formulating well-grounded policies and practices that facilitate women's leadership and professional growth. To start with, we will be exploring mentorship, networking, and sponsorship programs. By the end of this unit, you should be able to highlight mentorship, networking, and sponsorship programs for women leaders. Promoting gender equity and diversity in leadership roles necessitates the empowerment of women leaders. Below are strategies aimed at achieving this empowerment. Mentorship and sponsorship. Mentorship and sponsorship initiatives play a pivotal role in furnishing women with the necessary guidance and support to hone their leadership skills and progress in their careers. Mentors offer valuable insights, feedback, and encouragement while sponsors champion women's advancements and open doors for career growth. Leadership Development Programs. Leadership development programs equip women with the essential competencies and knowledge required for success in leadership positions. These programs encompass training in communication, decision-making, negotiation, and other crucial leadership proficiencies. Networking and collaboration. Establishing connections and collaborating with fellow leaders in the field empower women leaders by expanding their network and granting access to fresh opportunities. This facilitates learning from peers, forging supportive networks, and exploring avenues for growth. Addressing bias and discrimination. Eliminating bias and discrimination is integral to fostering gender equity in leadership roles. This involves adopting policies and practices that champion diversity and inclusivity. Raising awareness and implementing training programs to counter unconscious bias are also vital components of this strategy. Flexible work arrangements. Instituting flexible work arrangements, such as remote work options and flexible schedules, enables women to strike a balance between their professional responsibilities and family life. This equilibrium contributes to women's professional growth and progression in leadership roles. Advocacy and policy change. Advocacy and policy reform contribute to creating an environment that nurtures women leaders. This involves advocating for policies that champion gender equity and diversity in leadership, along with challenging cultural norms and attitudes that perpetuate gender bias and discrimination. Implementing these strategies not only empowers women leaders, but also advances gender equity and diversity in leadership positions. Thank you.